The neck joint of a typical American field ant can resist pressures up to 5,000 times the ant's weight, according to study published in the Journal of Biomechanics. Carlos Castro, an assistant professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering at The Ohio State University, noted that ants are remarkable mechanical systems. We made a relatively conservative estimate before we started that they might be able to support 1,000 times their weight, but it ended up being far more. The engineers are investigating whether comparable joints would enable future robots to imitate the ant's capacity for lifting weights both on the surface of the Earth and in space. A hundred times or more their body weight or more, according to estimates made by other researchers who have long monitored ants in the wild based on the payload of leaves or prey they carried. Castro and his associates adopted a different strategy. They dismantled the ants. As with any engineering system, he explained, you must disassemble something in order to fully comprehend how it operates. In this situation, it might sound a little cruel, but we did anesthetize them first. The engineers tested the moving elements and components of the Allegheny Mound Ant, Formica X sectoids, as though it were a machine that they were trying to reverse engineer. They selected this specific species since it is widespread in the eastern United States and is available at the university's insectary. It's a common field ant that isn't renowned for its lifting prowess. With the help of microcomputed tomography, micro-CT, devices and electron microscopy, they x-rayed and captured images of ants. To measure the force required to distort the neck and eventually rupture the head from the body, they first put the ants in a refrigerator to put them to sleep before sticking them face down in a centrifuge that was made especially for the purpose. The centrifuge operated on the same theory as the rotor, a popular carnival ride. A circular room spins in the rotor until centrifugal force ties occupants to the wall and the floor dislodges. The ants' heads were bonded to the centrifuge's bottom so that when it spun, their bodies would be dragged outward until their necks ruptured. With each rise in speed, the centrifuge's rotational speed reached hundreds per second, applying more force externally to the ant. The neck joint started to extend and the body elongated at stresses equal to 350 times the ant's body weight. At 3,400 to 5,000 times their typical body weight, the ant's neck snapped. Micro-CT scans of the neck's soft tissue structure and its connections to the body's and head's hard exoskeletons were made visible. The head-neck-chest joint was shown in electron microscope photographs to have a variety of textures, with structures that resembled bumps or hairs extending from various points. Other insects have comparable microscale features, and Castro speculated that they might have some mechanical function. To reduce stress and improve mechanical function, they might control how the soft tissues and hard exoskeleton converge. They could cause friction or support two moving parts against each other.